Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox, Syncrable Space Program 1.12. In the previous video I had introduced the Exo Launch System, which is two Airbus A380s strapped together with eight engines in order to carry a load in the middle, currently covered up by a huge cloud of dust here. And I asked what you all thought the intended load was supposed to be. And if you guessed a empty Super Heavy, you would have been correct. That is what was 9 meters in diameter, 70 meters in length, and weighing, well, in the ballpark of 300 tons. That was the upper limit that I was trying to set. So there it is with a nose cone in front, and we are trying to lift off with it here at Boca Chica and testing if I can carry it over to New Orleans, basically, to Louisiana. And the goal here is sort of complicated. Uh, the idea is that we're going to launch Starship and Super Heavy and then Super Heavy instead of turning around and coming back to Boca Chica using extra fuel would continue downrange and instead land in Louisiana. Now this requires a certain trajectory, a certain inclination. You can't just do it any old way but right now when testing Starship they're using a certain inclination anyway as we see that this does not lift off within the confines of the runway I had set down. Uh, but it's gradually getting off the ground there. I do think I need more wing on the Exo launch system. A thicker wing perhaps. But uh, yeah, that uh, takeoff speed is definitely not sufficient. So, uh, this is actually going in the reverse direction for what we want. So, Super Heavy would land in Louisiana. Then we need something to pick it up and bring it back, right? Uh, that, that is inconvenient compared to landing it back at the launch site. But right now, Starship doesn't have much payload capacity. And if Super Heavy can give it a few more seconds of boost right at the end, of course, it still has to reserve fuel for landing, but it doesn't have to reserve fuel for boost back. So I wanted to see how much extra payload capacity we could get if Starship, uh, if Super Heavy did not have to turn around and come back. And Starship could then save that fuel and carry a heavier load. I was estimating hopefully maybe 50 tons extra. But we have to see. But I also wanted a system that could bring Super Heavy back to Boca Chica after it lands in Louisiana. And that's what we have here. So. In the same stream where I tested out the Exo launch to see if it could bring the Super Heavy back from Louisiana, actually I went from Boca Chica to Louisiana, but the other way around should work too. I decided to launch Super Heavy and Starship. Sorry, there's a lack of audio. That was because I was talking during the stream and I don't have the non-talking copy, the non-talking audio channel, unfortunately. Uh, so here we are sending Super Heavy over to Louisiana. You can see the trajectory there. and so Louisiana happens to be right there. It's it's possible, and then Starship can do a dog leg to wherever it needs to actually go. But here I'm trying to bring it down, but we're falling a little bit short. So adjustments need to be made to the trajectory. How much uh, fuel we reserve for landing? You can see we have 2,000 meters per second, and we probably don't need 2,000 meters per second for landing. We probably need more like 400, but we are going a little bit faster than it would be coming back to Boca Chica and Realism Overhaul was not having it. Now I don't think it's much faster than a drone ship landing for Falcon 9 and frankly I think with the heat tolerance that Realism Overhaul automatically puts on the engines, sorry for lack of explosion sounds, but uh, it, the engines were using the default Realism Overhaul heat tolerance and I don't think the Falcon 9s would survive, the Merlins on the Falcon 9s would survive either, so I think I'll have to just up that a little bit. But since we had the 2,000 meters per second, I decided I would try a mitigation effort by trying to slow down once we got over there and start hitting the atmosphere again. And so there the stage is done. We could also just burn the engines a little bit more in order to push us forward to Louisiana but then we'd be coming in even faster, so that's a downside to that. Uh, but here we still have the 2,000 meters per second coming down, and they're lighting the engines and trying to use that propellant in order to slow down so that it won't overheat, but it looks like I'll need to ignite like 13 engines instead. It's gonna explode. So, well, at least the engines are gonna be exploding, but, uh, you know, we want those. 
So anyway, so that's how that testing has gone so far. So that's been the problematic part. The not so problematic part has been Exo Launch carrying Super Heavy. Uh, here it is over Louisiana actually, but I don't actually have a runway in Louisiana. And that's why I decided to fly from Boca Chica to Louisiana instead of Louisiana back to Boca Chica, which is the intended direction. Uh, so I need to place a runway here so that we can land and I use Kerbal Constructs to do that while in flight. So yes, here I am placing the runway that we will eventually land at and I decided to place it at uh, Joint Naval Air Base or Joint Air Base New Orleans and it is in that location and it is a runway 40 that I was trying to imitate but the runway is not nearly this long. <laughs> it is still a 10,000 foot runway, but I'm making it much longer. And uh, don't worry, it won't be enough. So yeah, I do need to put air brakes or drag chutes or something to slow this thing down. But right now I was blissfully unaware of that, though I was suspecting it pretty heavily. So here we are turning uh, to get back to the runway, having overshot it while I was placing it. Uh, you see the Mississippi River there. We did place the runway along the Mississippi. And here it's still turning. I didn't end up perfectly in line with the runway when attempting to land. It's a bit askew and as a result, once I touch down at a fairly high speed, by the way, uh, again, more wing might be necessary. We start sliding off to the left there and I managed to touch down just like that. So anyway, uh, generally speaking this works and in fact if you take a look at the kerosene there we didn't even use half of our fuel so actually exo launch can carry super heavy all the way from Boca Chica to Cape Canaveral which could be another use case for it too and either way this landing would have been a lot better if we didn't have so much extra fuel in we would pro probably stopped easier we wouldn't need much as much landing distance or have touched down so fast uh, so yeah, I probably should have underfueled it. We could have taken off at Boca Chica with less runway. Uh, so yeah, well, this is how I figured that all out. And unfortunately, having overrun the runway, we lost two good fins and some engines in the back. But anyway, that was the intended use of Exo Launch. That doesn't mean it doesn't have plenty of other uses, but that was the thing that I needed the height of the Airbus A380s for to accommodate Super Heavy. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.